Okay, hello everybody, here we begin. There is the quad. I need to get my, my eyes on. Trying out a new diversity, not diversity, a new polarized, circular polarized antenna for this. It's a cheapo 450 from MRM, so nothing, don't expect anything amazing. It's better than what we, we have had. Um, so yeah. I've adjusted the PIDs, I've, like, I, I'm kind of afraid I was accidentally flying on the old PIDs, but we'll see. Maybe not. It feels good. So this is an 850 battery with the doll 30x30 30 30 dual blades. And so today I'm just, it's not a real practice, I'm just out here to have fun, get a feel for the quad. Like, a lot of... A lot of doing stuff is getting a feel for how the quad is going to react. See, that was bounce back. There was a lot of bounce back there. I had noticed that before. Yeah, see, look at that. Bing, lots of bounce back. Um, now, this could be a good race tune still. A lot, of, a lot of bounce back. Okay, so that I'll have to deal with. I didn't notice that before. Um, that's okay. The way I do my flips and stuff, um, I'm never, almost never zero throttle when I do stuff. So the bounce back, generally like, I, did, I found I compensate a lot in the sticks for what kids would normally do. I've just gotten used to it since I spent so long flying without setting my endpoints. I've just gotten used to essentially feeling out what the, uh, what the sticks are going to be like. The video is a lot better with this antenna, definitely. Kids are working out really nicely. It's nice and... It would probably be not sharp enough for a lot of people. Because um, I really exploded out the bottom. really nice and easy to fly. That's pretty good, I think. I'm trying to make these videos more interesting for you guys. A few things that are a little crazier. We haven't seen a lot of. Stuff like that. That's a little nerve wracking. Nice and easy on the battery here. Sure what my range is, so I'm just gonna keep it in. There's a lot of trees here. There's a fence I don't want to have to walk over. Uh, there's somebody tapping on their fence over there, and I'm sure they'll get annoyed if I'm here for too long. But I'm not here to hurt anybody or do anything, so maybe not. I'm just a guy having fun after work. This quadcopter. Battery's starting to sag a bit. Oops. Little contact with the tree there, that's okay. I just wanted to touch and say hi. But yeah, I also uh, reduced my camera angle to 25, and this is much better. Deal with that bounce back. Oh, 
pin's in her battery low again. I forgot to charge it. Okay. I better bring it in. up too much dust, so I'm going to come land over here. There we go. Nice soft landing. A little five minute flight. That was fun. And I got to charge my transmitter. I think we'll call it for today. Thanks for watching guys. That was a short one. Looks like the GoPro is almost out as well. So uh, let me actually show you guys the battery voltage after that flight. Um, in case you're new to 3 inch, you know what to expect. So this always happens here too. This gets uh, vibrated off. It's annoying. Yeah, I always take my antenna off every time I pack and Okay, I stopped I gotta double check make sure I stop the video in my goggles So yeah, so that was one pack Fifteen point two. so yeah, like super healthy battery Hey, well, this was a good, this was mostly I wanted to come out and um, test the new PIDs and Expo that I put on her. And my God, the, the extra, the extra middle stick freedom is, is just, just the best, just the best. Um, okay, so here's my 5 inch, and I'll talk about that while I'm putting this away. So I have RS2205, the Emacs Race Specs, the old red bottoms. Those used to be the shit like a year ago. Um, I'm going to keep those on here until they break. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a problem with this motor because this ESC keeps breaking, uh, which generally means there's probably it's overdrawing current or something, and this is just burning up over and over again. Oh, well, no, wait, that one burned up last time. So maybe it's different, maybe it's where I'm crashing and stuff, but uh, we're going to do a DOIS F4 Pro Flight Controller on the top here. We're going to low ride it and I'm going to do a probably a micro FPV camera and try to do that inset that you see a lot of people doing. The only problem is the MRM225 comes way up here, so I may have to stick it out the front. Um, we'll see what happens, I'm not really sure. And I'm going to put a GoPro on it and this will be my HD footage camera so that I can make sure to break this GoPro and so I can't do this again, right? That's the whole point. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll be doing these practice videos on a regular basis. This was just a test. Um, kind of a nice, calm, not super shitty day, but I gotta go charge uh, my transmitter.